If you make yourself more than just a man, if you devote yourself to an ideal, and if they can't stop you, you become something else entirely. What up y'all, the Black Critter Guy, and today I'm here to review the return to form of Batman with Batman Begins. So the basic premise of Batman Begins is it chronicles the life of Bruce Wayne, who tragically lost his parents at a young age due to a robbery shooting. Years later, he confronts the man who killed his parents in the intent to kill him, but ends up being killed by somebody else. And in that, he realizes that crime and violence still is rampant, even though this guy is out of the picture. And he realizes how insignificant and how he pretty much can't do nothing about it. He feels weak, he feels scrawny, so he runs away. During his self-banishment, he confronts a man by the name of Dukar who tries to mold Bruce Wayne into something more than just a man but an idea that can be used to fight criminals and so he gets trained by him and he dons on the mask and becomes Batman. So it's no surprise that I absolutely love this movie. I love it to death. Watching it again just makes me realize how much I love this movie. And the reason that I love this movie so much is because it fixes every problem that I have with all the previous Batmans and exceeds my every expectation. Character development of Batman, Batman not becoming a secondary character, character relations, action, well-developed characters, all that stuff is in this movie. I just love the realistic depiction of all the characters that Chris Christopher Nolan brought to the series, and I really loved how he actually molded the character of Batman, dissect him, and actually got into the psyche of why he became this mass vigilante who goes out and, you know, fights criminals. What's his cause? Why he's doing all this? We get a reason now. It's not just, oh, well, I'm doing it because I'm doing it. He has a reason. He's trying to make sure that nobody else suffers like he did, losing his parents to, you know, these people, these criminals running amok in the street, he's actually trying to do something about it. And another thing I really enjoyed is I loved how they actually showed how he became Batman. You know, in the other movies, he was already Batman. He already knew how to fight the criminals. He knew, like, all these fight moves. You're like, how does a guy like that know so many fight moves? I mean, he's got to be, like, 30. Who trained him? And in this movie, we get the backstory. He was trained by, you know, Ducard, learned how to become, like, sort of a ninja, which basically he was a ninja anyway. He learned how to be stealthy, knows how to fight almost 600 enemies. We get that type of development and we learn where the Batman comes from. And we also see him like become the Batman. Like he didn't become, you know, all the cape and the mask and all that stuff. It took time to like develop. Like you even see him like sitting in his room one day just thinking like, what should I be in order to fight villains? And then he gets, you know, an epiphany. He's like... That's what I want to be. Character development was handled very well in this movie, and I really liked the character of Dukar, played by the man, Liam Neeson. And the reason I liked him is because Christopher Nolan took a more realistic approach to this character and didn't make him a goofy, cartoonish villain. They made him realistic and made him have a purpose. Like, his reasoning for doing what he did, it was logical. And I kind of found myself on his side sometimes in the movie. Like, you know what? He's right. Because if we do this, then... The problems of society is fixed. But again, the morals of Batman would not let him do something like that. That's why he's fighting against Dukar. And why you kind of root for Batman, but you also understand where Dukar is coming from. And I really love the chemistry with all the characters. You actually get to see Bruce interact with his family. You get a development of his family. You get a development with him and Alfred, which has been totally lacking in the other Batman. You see actually Alfred helping him. Alfred being like a father figure to him. You see that development. And you know a lot of people hate on Katie Holmes for being in this movie. I liked her in the movie. She wasn't bad. She was not the weak link. She was just that character. And I really loved the chemistry with Bruce and Rachel. I really felt like it was genuine. It was real. You really get a development of their character when they were friends as kids. How it grew up and they matured and you know one fought for good while the other one was kind of like oh well there's nothing we can really do about it. Then he realizes well I'm wrong and I should be helping Rachel out and do all this stuff. I really thought they handled that very well and was more realistic. It didn't feel forced like in the other Batmans. And sorry, I know I'm comparing it to the other Batmans, but this movie is just that great. It fixes all those problems. And another thing that it fixes is now Bruce Wayne is finally a playboy billionaire philanthropist. In the other movies, he's just like falling head over heels for these other girls. And yes, he sort of does that on Rachel, but it's not shown. It's kind of subtle. Like, you know he has feelings for her, but he's not like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He handles it subtly. 
Like, he's very calm when he's talking to her, but you can tell the tone of his voice is different when he's talking to her than compared to other girls. But I really loved how they portrayed him as more of a playboy, which, that's what Bruce Wayne is. And also, I really love the development and chemistry between Lieutenant Gordon and Batman. We actually see how their relationship actually starts in this movie. Like, normally, like I said, in the other Batmans, it's just like, he comes in nowhere, it's like, oh, Batman, you need to do this. In this movie, he actually... You know, he doesn't know if he can trust Batman, he doesn't know if he's on his side, you know, we get a development of their characters and I really liked it, and Gary Oldman kills it as Lieutenant Gordon, he is awesome for the role. And he's rocking that sweet mustache, I mean, you go man! I mean, this movie just had it all, excellent writing, excellent camera work, excellent direction, everyone acted their best. Also, I didn't even know this, but this was actually a surprise to me, but you know that kid who plays Joffrey on Game of Thrones? He plays the little kid in this movie, and I was like, my god, that's Joffrey. He's gonna turn into a little bastard soon. So overall, I just really love this movie. It had everything I wanted and more. It exceeded my expectations tremendously. The development of all the characters is really good. We get a more layered, more well-developed Batman than we ever did in the other movies. The writing is excellent. The direction is solid. The acting is solid. I loved Morgan Freeman as Lucius Fox, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I mean, just everything about this movie is everything I wanted. This is the Batman that I know and love. This is the this is an excellent Batman movie. I give this movie a 5 out of 5 stars. It is a epic masterpiece in every sense of the word. But anyway, what did you guys think of this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? And let me know who's your favorite Batman accomplice. By accomplice, I mean like Commissioner Gordon or Batgirl or any of his love interests or, you know, even Alfred. Comment below and let me know. Anyway, I'm the Black Critic Guy, bridging the gap between movies and anime reviews. Till then, peace YouTube.